There it is. Grandma's house. What wonders await me today. Fresh baked cookies. Story time. A sweater with love in every stitch. Oh, what am I waiting for? We are back with another five SpongeBob airs. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Before we get started though, leave a comment down below, letting us know who your favorite SpongeBob character is. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, that way you enter in to our monthly shout out giveaway. In the episode Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy 5, Barnacle Boy turns to the evil side after getting in a fight with Mermaid Man for making him order off the kids menu at the Krusty Krab. When the realistic fish head is reporting about evil, every villain is lemons, the studio changes from a bare desk with a blue yellow background to a desk with a script and a microphone on it in front of a red pink background. Also, the word villains is spelled incorrectly. Uh, will you tuck me in? We interrupt your bleak and meaningless lives for this special news break. What can we do? When will this crime wave end? How will we defeat the evil? Why am I asking you all these questions? Squidward tries to start out his day peacefully in slide whistle stooges, but soon realizes that somebody is adding slide whistle sound effects into his life. Of course, those someones are SpongeBob and Patrick, and Squidward discovers them giggling under the doormat of his house. When we see SpongeBob, he's wearing his usual striped socks, but after he and Patrick stand up, he's suddenly sockless. Here's a clip of the mistake with audio. All right, you two. What is the meaning of this? What is the meaning of this? <laughs> we are slide whistling. At the beginning of the episode, yours, mine, and mine, Patrick is ordering at the Krusty Krab. Now if you watch the fish seated in the restaurant in the background behind Patrick, you can see that the guy on the right changes his animations a few times, drinking and eating, and even looking over at Patrick. But the pair on the left just has the very same specific expressions, frozen on their faces the whole time. This isn't necessarily a huge mistake, but it's definitely a little awkward and it only costs one dollar more. Oh, oh yeah, 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 I, I want that! In the classic episode, Grandma's Kisses, SpongeBob reveals that he has a lot of love for his grandmother, resulting in his friends and co-workers teasing him for being a baby. Now at the very beginning of this episode, SpongeBob is excited to visit his grandma, and as he says, what am I waiting for, his tie and collar fold are missing from his iconic outfit. There it is, Grandma's house. What wonders await me today? Fresh baked cookies, story time, a sweater with love in every stitch. Oh, what am I waiting for? Grandma, Grandma, Grandma. In the episode Gone from season six, SpongeBob wakes up to find out that everybody in Bikini Bottom has magically vanished. As a way to cope with this strange occurrence, SpongeBob tries to keep the memory of his friends alive while pretending to be them. Now there's one scene in this episode where SpongeBob pretends to be Sandy. At first glance, there doesn't look like there's anything particularly wrong with this scene until you notice that SpongeBob isn't wearing a water bowl when he's pretending to be Sandy. And as we all know, SpongeBob needs water. Another mistake occurs near the beginning of the episode, when SpongeBob is calling Patrick. If you look at this shot here, you can hear SpongeBob calling Patrick, but SpongeBob's mouth remains still. But may I have some more of this delicious iced tea? <laughs> Why, sure! Oop, just a sec. <laughs> Why, show sure enough, SpongeBob! You don't want to forget to wake up again! Patrick? Okay, see you after work. 